this world, man. If you don't do it right now, then when you gonna do it? If you don't do it for nobody else, make sure you do it for yourself. Hey, if you ain't got nobody, do it, but then do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for hey. yourself. And when they start hating on you, tell them thank you for hey. the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. If you ain't got nobody, do it, but then do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. And when they start hating on you, tell them thank you for the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. In today's video, um, my wife just called me earlier today and she said that um, her amp wasn't coming on, her system wasn't working or whatever. So in today's video, man, I'm a, we gonna go and inspect and see what's going on with her setup, man. Hopefully that amp ain't blown because to be honest with y'all, the last couple of weeks or so, that amp has been making some kind of humming or buzzing sound. It, it, it kind of hard to explain, man, but she is running the Tar Amp Smart 3K, and um, I got it used or whatever, so I don't know if it's malfunctioning or if it went out or what the case may be, but I'm gonna take y'all along to find out what's going on. Hopefully it's nothing major. If so, uh, we can put a Scar RP2K back on it or the uh, Pioneer 2400 back on it. Uh, she got a couple backup amps, but I'm hoping that that Tarium 3K ain't dead. I'm still at work about to leave. Sweating like hell, waiting for the AC to get right. But uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, guys, so my wife done made it home, man. She sells system. Her amp ain't coming on. The subs ain't playing, dope speaker playing. So first thing first, we're gonna check a few which looks to be perfectly fine. It's a 200 amp fuse. And I got it on, and it's on a tar amp 3K, so probably really should be a 300 amp fuse, but being that it's a 200, that's just an extra safety measure, which means there's a pop way earlier than that 300 would if something was to go wrong, which is kind of what I wanted for that car, cause she do go hard on the system, I ain't gonna lie, so. That, that that fuse will pop before anything go wrong. So a fuse did not pop. Theoretically, she should have like a 300, 350 amp fuse on that um on that tar amp 3K. I probably gonna put one on there because they they kind of restricting it as well. But let's get it's open. Y'all can see she I did do a little Mac 66 back there as well. And back here on the dick lid. Didn't ever finish it, but the DDX is still moved. They ain't stuck, so the subs ain't blown. I don't smell anything, so let's go back here and check the amp out. I'm gonna check the amp out. See what we got going. Okay, what the hell? Jesus Christ. It did headlight, bro. Okay, you got headlight then, bro. Damn, I dropped the phone. But this fuse back here seems to be... That fuse seems to be fine. Trying to see, cause everything look pretty damn good. I'm trying to see, guys. And that fuse right there look perfectly fine. Then again, hold on. Hold on, let me set the phone down and take the cover off real quick, guys. I got to check something, hold on. I ain't got my tripod, hold on. Okay, so I just took that cover off right there with the, with the base added logo on it, man. The fuse still good. Oh. Uh, like I say, all my connections still look good, man. Uh, I had to fire it up and see. Let, let, let me fire the car up and see what's going on. Go back around here and get the key. Let's fire that thing up, see what it do. She said this, um... 
clip meter was wasn't coming on e neither, so. Yep, definitely didn't power up, so the amp is not coming on. Could the amp be dead? <clears throat> She might be dead, y'all. The fans ain't on nothing. And like I said, all my connection is still connected. So everything still look the way I left it. It still look the exact same way I left it. All the fuses and everything work. So what I'm about to do is I'm gonna go and get her on um, Scar RP2K. And we're gonna see uh if that work. If the Scar RP2K don't work. We don't know it got something going on in the wiring somewhere, but I'm thinking it's the amp because the amp didn't even power up. It still ain't on, so yeah. Let me go get the 2K real quick, hook that up, and I'll get back with y'all. I got the RP 2K back out. <sighs> got to get a little dust off. It's been sent for a while, but that's why it's good to hold on to the equipment, guys. You got to have a backup just in case situation like this right here, man. Like I said earlier in the video, I think that amp went head on and took a shit because a couple weeks ago or whatever, it was making a humming noise and I don't even think the damn fans were working on it, man, to be honest. But I wasn't a hundred percent shit. I wasn't, I wasn't too sure at the time, but I never heard these amps make that noise. So I think it probably took a shit on me, man. Um, if I hook this RP2K up and it still don't work, I had to dig in a little more, do way more research. Well, not research, but you know, I had to just retrace all my wiring, make sure everything's straight. And look, I know it look a little ghetto, but everything is official. Like a referee, like a referee with a whistle, guy. It, it's official. I do have some plywood. I'm gonna make her, uh, pretty much make her an amp rack pretty much put a board back there that way it won't shit be sliding and moving give me some two by fours and encase this on um, battery i'm gonna get it real legit back here i just haven't had time these boxes was sitting on the amp but i don't see any burn marks or anything unusual so it ain't short out on that i think the amp just really took a shit on me so next clip i had this hooked up and hopefully she'll have a sound back all right guys so we got that amp hooked up like i said excuse the mess very next video i'm gonna be cleaning that up man so don't worry about that part let's see let's see if we got power let's see okay she on so that amp took a shit on her the 2K is on. The 2K is on. And like I said, don't mind my little wiring nets right here, man. Next video, I'm screening all that shit out, man. I'm gonna order me some more wire. Like, I'm gonna do this shit real legit. As well with the truck, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna get all this shit legit. Don't worry about that part. Now, let's see, can I find my USB and play some music and see what's going on? Let's get it. I just figured something else out, man. Okay. Y'all see the, um, the subwoofer level right here, right? Y'all see the alt button. When I went into that setting, it was like that. It was not on whatsoever. Wasn't on. So maybe that amp didn't take the shit on me. Should I hook that amp back up and turn this shit back on? Because when I hit that button, the damn sub will be play. They play. So should I hook the 3K back up? And maybe she made a mistake and turned that off? 
Jesus Christ. Let me check, guys. Well, no, guys. I just thought about it. Cause even with the subwoofer level on that on uh, head unit, even with that being off, the amp should still come on. And this amp was not coming on. Not even on the oil uh, clip indicator, man. The amp was not coming on, period. Alright guys, so as y'all can see the RP2K is putting in work and turning it down bass knob down. <laughs> Whoo Jesus, she getting all real good man. The RP2K is putting in work, but off camera I'm about to secure that amp. I'm about to secure that box for sure because that bitch slime around everywhere and we don't need no shortages nowhere man. Please do me a favor, like, comment, share, subscribe. Definitely hit that like button guys. We got to get into the algorithm. And we got to get to that 10K, man. Appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the support, man. We are